If you have a soil pH above 7.5, your yield is being hurt and you know it, but what do you do? <laughs> we get so many questions about pH and if, if you've got a low pH soil, oh boy, it's easy. You put on some lime, the pH comes up, everything's great. But the high pH is a real challenge. There's no magic product you can put out like a lime on low pH soil. It's going to change things oh, for you real no. fast. Let, let's, let, let, you've got to take that back, Darren. There is one product that will lower your pH just about like that. That is elemental sulfur. Now, I don't think you're going to want to spend the amount of money you would probably need to well, to take an 8.5 pH down to a 7. But if you had a garden, it is definitely an option. Okay, you could you put could, on You could off. do it for a temporary fix, but it's yes. not going to for long-term right. fix things the way that lime can. Lime's pretty good. You do lime every few years and you keep that pH up no problem. Okay so high pH there's no quick and easy fix but there's a few different things that you can do. The first thing you have to do like anything else is look at why you have a problem. Why is that pH high? Has it always been high or is it moving up over time? In most cases that pH is moving up over time so you have to figure out why. Well the biggest reason why as we found on most farms is poor drainage. Poor drainage leads to more salt issues out there and eventually you have higher pH problems. Fix your drainage and usually that fixes the soil pH issues. On our farm we've had a lot of high soil pHs as high as eight and a half on our farm. Terrible crop everything. We put some tile in, we do some zone building, we get the drainage improved. Guess what happens over a few years? We're able to gradually lower that pH and it that, doesn't... That was the real key. Yeah, it it happens over a few years. <laughs> yes. This is not an overnight, oh boy now my problems are all gone. No, it does take a little bit of time but you have to think about it. It took you a while to get into those problems and to get them that bad it's going to take a little while to get back out of them as well. So don't let those problems get out of hand. If you see pH is starting to rise on your farm, deal with them right away before they get up to eight and a half and, and you've got this terrible train wreck out there. Take care of those problems. Yeah, and, and one of the things I end up talking to a lot of farmers and I say, well, to fix your high soil pH, you gotta improve your drainage. And they say, well, I already have tile in my field. And I just ask them, well, how close together is your tile? What's your cation exchange capacity? How heavy is that soil, basically? What I'm getting at here is, if you've got really heavy soil, like where we're standing right now is tremendously heavy soil, and if we were gonna properly tile this field, we might have to have tile 25 feet apart. Well, that gets really expensive. So you have to kind of weigh this thing out on your farm and just say, well, there's a trade-off here. I might have to spend $1,000 an acre or more on tiling. I'll guarantee you if I was renting the ground, I wouldn't invest that kind of money in tile. If I owned the ground and I knew it was tremendously productive ground, I might just do it. The other way you can do it is do it over a period of years, phase it in, and you're in much better shape, you're raising better crops. All right, here's a lot more common problem than that. And yeah, you may have tremendously heavy soil, you may need tile really, really close, but maybe you've already got tile at 40 or 50 foot spacings out in your field, and it's still not enough, it's still not keeping up. The first thing that I'm looking at, and I don't have my shovel today, I guess if you're a regular watcher of our show, I usually have a shovel when I'm out in the field. I would dig around a little bit and find that hard pan. I guarantee you, you've got a hard pan out there in spots. Find where that's at, slice through it, so do some deep tillage with the straight shank and get things to flow again. Once you have that hard pan layer, even if you've got tile every 25 feet, it's probably not going to work very good when the water can't get through that hard pan and get down to the tile. So do some tillage out there if you need to, to break hard pans up, let the water flow, and let your tile work. I don't know how many guys I've talked to over the years that have said, man, I went out and did some deep tillage and my tile lines just started to run. I, can't, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. We were bone dry out there and my tile lines were running. Yeah, because you've got all kinds of water that's been trapped out there that just couldn't get away. Well, once again, fixing soil pH may require something else, but usually the cause of it is poor drainage and you've got to get that problem fixed. So do some ditching, do some tiling, do some zone building or some type of deep tillage. Do something to get that water moving and get it out of the field in time, your salt levels will go down, your soil pH will go down, and your yields will go up. Well, on some of these ridiculously high salt level, high pH areas of fields, no weeds can even grow. Please, don't use this to control our weed of the week. We'll show you a much easier way to do it coming up next.